Joining us here on Golf Life is the Director of Instruction at the Bighorn Golf Club in Palm Desert, California, Dale Abraham. Dale, appreciate you joining us. You know, you have a unique story. A lot of people think that teaching professionals, they go out and coach, and then they immediately go out and play every single day. That's kind of not your story. That's definitely not my story. It's been a busy time teaching, and uh, I've only, I had only played three rounds in the last three years up until August, and then decided to play in a tournament and uh, wound up taking the dust off the clubs and some wrappers off. I had new clubs, wound up uh, playing my fourth round in three years was the practice round. And then the two rounds I played, I played well enough to uh, come in seventh place and qualify for the national um, senior section championship. And wound up playing well enough there, traveling to Florida, playing four rounds in wind and rain and all that kind of conditions. And um, came in uh, tie for 24th, which actually qualified me for the 2021 senior PGA championship. So, uh, you know, a lot of rust in the clubs and a lot of rusty shots, but still managed to do a pretty good job of playing. Well, that says a lot about your golf game, you know, taking the wrappers off and then go qualify for the CG PGA. That's pretty impressive. Now, we caught up with Dale at the chipping area as he was working with one of his students. Why don't you tell me what you're working on there? So Marie was having a hard time with uh, controlling her distance and getting solid contact, and she was hitting some shanks as well. So we really just wanted to kind of solidify her motion, make it a little easier for her to get up and down where it's so important to save those rounds. Let's go check it out. Okay, Marie, so following up from our last chipping lesson, we talked about your setup, right? Just squaring that up a little where your feet are about a club head width apart. There you go. Left foot pulled out and turned back a little bit. There you go. Yeah. And then from there, we want about 65 to 75% of your weight on your left side. Your chin is going to kind of be over your left foot. There you go. Just like that. And what was your tendency? To go behind. Inside, so your club would roll back behind you too much, and that would cause a lot of, a lot of strike issues where you hit thin, fat, scolded a little bit. So we wanted to get the club going back a little bit straighter. Yeah, just like that. So if you can show me what that looks like. So instead of this, we want to do this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and chip one and see how that works. Oops. Okay, that's all right, try it again. And this time we wanna just make sure that you're about a foot away from it. If you get too close to it, your hands might go out a little bit and you could hit it off a little bit off the hosel. And I know we talked about trying to hit it a little bit on the toe, because that is your tendency to hit a little bit too much towards the heel. There you go, nice. Okay, that's the idea. That's it. They're coming out hot, though. Yeah, they are. So you've got the club face a little bit closed. So when you line up to this, one more time, one of the things you can do is hold the club face up here, just open it a little bit, now put your grip on, and then you're going to bend forward right from there. The club face will look a little bit open. And then the other thing is that is your sand wedge. You could go to a lob wedge to make it stop a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, nice. So you can see much softer, ball just trickles, hits like it's going to roll like a putt, right? Nice. Yeah, that also allows you to be a little more aggressive. So if the grass is growing against you, you can swing a little more aggressively to get that club through the grass and not worry about it going too far. So to summarize, you're going to stand about club head width apart with your heels, left foot turned out, pulled back slightly, just kind of lean to your left a little where your chin is over that left foot. If anything, hold the club in front of you with a face just a tiny bit open. You bend forward from there, about a foot away from it. And for you, you're just going to swing the club back straight back and then try to hit it a little bit on the toe, just like that. It provides a nice, soft little chip, hits, and just rolls out like a putt.